Oh man, this place really got messed up. Family, friends, gone in an instant? I can't imagine how you must be feeling. But you wanna play some cards? Come on, fuck your problems! Let's play some whist! You know, it's funnier with Triple Triad, but whatever. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Tales of Eternia. Just want a different intro. Uh, today we're heading to Tinsia after uh, uh, Iman got pretty much fucked up by Hyades, or I forgot how to say his name. God, he was a bitch last time. Uh, between last time and this time, I went ahead and grinded off screen. I also got a bunch of new. Um, skills. So I have Sonic Chaos, I have Spiral Attack, Demon Twist, Neo Swarm. Pretty much everything I have on is new. So I'm gonna be fighting pretty differently now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess you'll see right now. <laughs> I'll show it off. I'll show off the new stuff. Hey, look, it's a rabid rabbit. There's Demon Twist. I'm gonna be using Demon Twist a lot. I just think it's a cool move. Um, another cool move is this. If you're ever like next to a bunch of enemies, the uh, spiral attack's really good. It just it it combos really well. It's it's a really nice attack. But I did get like two levels off screen, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It worked out. It was good. So we're heading to Tinsia now. I should, uh, give me one second, actually. Okay, so uh, let's go. Uh, I'm uh, just just as a reminder, I'm still I still have a kind of a guide up just so I know where I'm going. I'm not getting lost. So just letting you guys know, uh, Tinsia should be that place right there. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show this off because I, wow, Tinsia, you look crazy. Uh, we haven't done this in a while, so. Oh, we can't do it here? Okay, wait. Lots of stops we made. This time, let's go to Tinsha. So yeah. I don't know, listening to her reminds me of like Dora the Explorer or something. It's really weird. But let's go ahead and port at uh Port Tinsia. Hey, what's with this town? It's full of machines. It's a uh, very, very observant read. Tinsia is the most technologically advanced city in all of Celestia. Hooray. With a hideout in a city like this, Shaleska must be quite technologically advanced themselves. So, where's the hideout? I thought that was Reed talking. <laughs> Who knows? It could be anywhere. So, we gotta look for a hideout. Uh, first off, there's a couple things we can do here. Also, there are elevators in this town, so that's kind of cool. But, uh, this could, like, kind of be the, uh... I don't know if it is, but I guess you could say it's the capital of, uh, Celestia, but... I can't, like, be... I can't say that for 100% certainty, because I'm not exactly sure. But, um, let's, uh, look around a little bit. I want to see if I can find what I'm getting. Uh, you can do, like, a mini-game here, which involves, like, eating a, eating a bunch of food and stuff. And also, if you go up to the, the statue of a uh, gnome, you can get a lens, and that's pretty cool. Um, let's try up here. Yeah, this is where I wanted to be. I wanted to get to a weapon shop so I can buy some new stuff. So we can get an ogre sword. I didn't want to buy- I don't want to buy five of them. Sorry. Not that crazy. Um, that's mostly the one we want to get. Um, we're also going to get, like, a battle suit. And then a dragon fang. I might run out of money while I'm doing this. We definitely need a trumpet for Merity because she hasn't gotten a new weapon in a long time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm out of money. Two pretty mittens. I guess uh, that grinding paid off. It paid off for a whole like five seconds, but whatever. We'll get more money and all. I can gr I can always grind again. 
That weapon's not even worth it, but whatever. Get that battle suit on, that's not worth it also. You know, I kind of wish the, the armor in this game was more worth it, but it's okay. It's mostly just the armor. The weapons usually have a decent upgrade. Like, especially for Merity right here. Yeah, she's getting 250 up. Yeah, she needed that. Uh, and there were pretty mittens. Wow. Uh, some luck and... Uh, it's mostly just luck, but whatever. Yeah, the defense is very small increments of upgrading, so... Kind of sucks. But let's head down here. How you guys doing today on this fine day? Look at these moving floors! I'm gonna go the wrong way. You can't go the wrong way. You can go this way. Uh, I've been doing okay. It's been a okay couple of days. Um, also off screen I did go ahead and buy- I refilled on all my items, so... I have 15 life bottles and everything. Hopefully it'll stay that way, cause uh... That last fight kinda kicked my ass. As you uh, saw. Now let's try and see if we can find this, uh, secret place. Got a ship place here. Oh wait! Oh, I saw something! I saw something! Hey, motherfucker! You think I didn't notice your ass? I saw you, man! He's gonna be teaching us a broiled sandwich! Great. Thanks. The God Among Men, the Wonder Chef. I'll see you again one day. Probably in this recording session, I'll see you like two or three times. But anyway, um, I have to remember where I need to go here. It might be that way. This might be the inn though. Yeah, hotel. Are you- are you here again? You motherfucker, you, you- you thought I wouldn't see you again, man! You thought I wouldn't see you again! <laughs> man, sweet parfait, thanks. Man, that- that was like twice in like 30 seconds. That was like a new record right there. Thanks, man. What a bro. Uh, I don't really need healing, I don't think, yeah. So, let's uh, get out of here and I think we have to go east of here, on that, uh, small little, this place. Where do you think you're going? You can't go in there without permission! Hmm? Is that a Miacus badge? Miacus to our hearts! You dumb phrase. Follow me! Okay. Alright! Is this the hideout? I guess so, it's a little danky boat, but whatever. Go down from here. Sure, brother. Make us to our hearts, brother! Merity can't see very well. Stay close together. Quickie! A trap? Here they come! Oh no! Oh, that, that that looks really weird, but also kind of cool. Oh my damn! Shit! That's a lot of dudes. Let's try and get that that spiral going. Oh my god! Okay, they're cornering me. I, I get out of my face! Oh, okay. That did quite a bit of damage. We're kind of cornered, but just keep it going. Ah, oh, Jesus. Freaking die! We killed one of them, I think. Two. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't realize that before. The nurse actually comes like through a door, which is kind of cool. Okay, we're we're withering them down though. They didn't really wow. 
That stalagmite uh, definitely kicks some ass right there. Hey, I'd appreciate it if you didn't attack me in the dark. That'd be great. Mia kiss to our hearts. Yeah, Mia kiss to your butt in a minute. Because I'm going to kick it. Forgive this rudeness. We heard the news from Gustin, but we wanted to test you ourselves. So, what's the next test? That was enough. Welcome to Shaleska's headquarters. We are the revolutionary army fighting for the freedom of men's souls. I guess that's one way to define freedom. We came here to find out the whereabouts of Belir's castle. Do you know? You may call me Isla. Please come this way. All right. Sorry, I, I was looking away for a quick second. I thought we were going to uh, go to a cutscene, but I guess not. I think there's a thing in here if I look around. Am I wrong? Is it this box and I didn't look properly? No. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's another place. Yeah, it might be in our place. Okay, let's go down. Please take a look at this. This is our current location, Tinsia, and that is Belir Castle. It's surrounded by water! Yes, that is why we must use ships to carry out the attack. Does Shaleska have ships? Certainly. They aren't battleships, but in time of need, we can call for several dozen ships for all, or from all over Celestia. The problem is here. There's a wall surrounding the gate to Belir Castle, protected by an impenetrable barrier. No matter how many ships we have, we can't launch an attack against Belir Castle until we find a way to destroy that gate. A barrier? It must be the power of Aurora Art. It's probably also why we couldn't calculate their location accurately. Aurora Art? No one knows about it. It's the power of Belir's Fibrio! <laughs> God, that still makes me laugh. It's much, much more powerful than the Crema Arts. We don't know much about it either. Please follow me. Are we gonna see in our movie? Is there anything in here? Look at this uh, Miekus thing. Cute. Secret door! Oh, hey, lady. Hope you don't mind me uh, barging in here. I'm just gonna look around and see if you got anything in here. That's a statue of Miekus! I didn't ask you, but okay. Fine. Nothing. Alright, let's follow the lady. I thought this was like a little baby ship, like outside it seemed like the smallest ship in the world. But inside it's a fucking submarine underneath or something. There's no way there's this much space on that fucking ship outside. Cause that looked like a very small ship. I'm sorry to have frightened you. We're conducting a firing test of the Kramel cannon here. You mean the mana cannon in Symphonia? That's where Symphonia got it. <laughs> they, they stole it from this game. <laughs> No. Cremo Cannon. Think of it as an oversized Cremo gun. Oh, I know. We just gotta get Sheena over here and she'll take care of it. She'll fire that shit off. But because we ha house Cremos in the largest possible Cremo cage, its destructive power is hundreds of times stronger. Sheesh. So even with a weapon this powerful, the gates of Belir Castle won't budge? Well, we don't know yet. If we make a Kramel cannon to match the large Kramel cage, the cannon becomes too big to carry on a ship. It's that big? Yes, what you see here is just the barrel of the cannon. Altogether, it's larger than a house. It already looks larger than a house. I don't know what size house you're talking about, but that looks like the size of a house already. 
Are you just gonna show me everything? I could be a spy. Just show me everything. I'll blow it up. I'm gonna ruin this whole game. If only you could do that in some games, just ruin everything. Boss? It's Isla. The people Gustin spoke of are here. May we enter? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Such a dumb voice! Please, you may enter now. Thanks. Thanks, lady. Nice statue back here. Okay, let's go. Speak with this weirdo. Miyakas to our hearts. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> so fucking dumb. This is the leader of Shaleska, Max. We've been waiting eagerly to meet face to face with the ones who tamed the mighty Ice Kramel. Yeah. We know your objective is Balir's castle. Please, we would like you to join Shaleska. Or if that is not possible, please consider an alliance. Yeah. If you, I swear to God, if you say yeah one more time, I'm gonna hop over your desk and slap you across the face. Yeah! <laughs> we undoubtedly would like your assistance on the battlefields, but could you also assist us with your knowledge? Swear to God, if he says yeah. Unless we build a small but powerful Kramel cannon, penetrating Balir's castle would be impossible. Yeah! You fucker! You fucking asshole! Would you like to say something, boss? That's the size of it. Defeat Balir and conquer the world. I didn't even know you could talk! I thought the only word you you knew at all was yeah. Like, I thought that's our whole relationship right there. But no, you actually have some words to say. We don't really care to conquer the world. But we both want Balir defeated. So, we'll help Shaleska. Thank you. I may have an idea pertaining to the construction of a small-scale cannon. Really? Using the device known as a parasol, we can capture the greater Kramels in a Kramel cage. What? So what? Um, this is a parasol, specially made by Galanos. Galanos? The renowned Kramel scientist? One greater Kramel is worth 10,000 Kramels, so a small Kramel cage would suffice our need. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about the lightning Kramel? Unfortunate, we have not found. Be at ease. Every Shaleskin knows where the greater Kramel sleeps. All right. Let's head there immediately. Sorry to trouble you, but may I ask someone to remain here to supervise the refitting of the Kramel cannon? I see. Why don't I remain? I should be of some use. Besides, I'd like to examine the theory behind the Kramel cannon. So we'll be down to three. Don't worry, I'll come along with you. Okay. Isla! Take care of my Miyakis, Dee Dee. She doesn't like pickles on her burgers. She's kind of, well, you know. Why'd your voice change? <laughs> what is going on with you, Max? Delicate. Yes, that's it. All right, let's move. How fortunate. The boss is worth a hundred men. <laughs> I'd rather have Kiel. Well... Kiel, you take care. Um, uh, mm, you too. Mia kiss to our hearts. I'm gonna Mia kiss your fucking ass in a minute. Please be well. Thanks. You too. I'm sorry. That was rude. Bring the Mia kiss! I can't believe we're. So we get Kiel's equipment, and Max has joined the party. When operating Max during battle, additional button commands can be entered after a gun skill is activated. 
For example, immediately after Burning Force is executed, the blast can be controlled by pressing X. X. Each gun skill has its own unique command inputs. Try to experiment by pressing different buttons. I'm not gonna play as them, so it doesn't really matter all that much. But we do have Max now. So if you wanna see him, there he is. He has a weird voice, but whatever. Uh, what really sucks is we're losing... We're losing, um, Keel, and he's our healer, so we need to switch some stuff around. I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay. Keel's this one, right? Yeah. What if we just give her everything? Oh crap, I... Fringe. I'm gonna check something just in case. Yeah, that doesn't give her that. We'll just, we'll just switch them entirely. Throw that over there. And then Celsius right there. Oh fuck, I, I keep forgetting to fringe it. That's so dumb. They shouldn't make you fringe. No. V, if you don't fucking stop right now, I'm gonna slap you across the face, me. Okay, fringe. There you go. So. Skills, nurse, heal. Okay, that's what we want. Perfect. So, let's go into strategy for her. We'll go... Uh, we'll go four and... Four. For that. And then th that's also why we didn't equip uh, Kiel, because we're going to be uh, losing her him for a small bit as we go off with... Our boy, our motherfucking man, Max. Give him a dual helm just to help him out a little bit. I don't think we can really help him with the uh, weapons or anything, so. Uh, there is one thing we do want to do before heading to uh, where we're, where the uh, lightning Greymel is. Uh, and by the way, it should be fairly obvious who it is. It's uh, Volt, because that's the... Uh, Summon Spirit of Lightning in every Tales game ever. <laughs> so, oh, you know what sucks? Mad money. Oh, that that kind of blows. See, a, a good thing you need you should do with this part, and you should, if you don't have money, you should probably grind. Is um, stun charms. You might want to get stun charms for volts. 